so my life, uh, my life has been pretty interesting. I was born in Albuquerque. My come from a military background. My, my father served in the Marine, uh, Marine Corps, served in Vietnam. My grandfather served in World War II. I take great pride and heritage in where I come from. Growing up, I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was four. Um, so it was, it was always difficult. I had to learn to be responsible at a very early age, um, learn how to diagnose myself, um, my blood sugars are high, low, learned how to check my blood, take my shots. Uh, I was very fortunate. My father played a huge role. Uh, he was always ensuring my blood was perfect and, you know, healthy. Working out has always been a, a regimen for me. Um, staying in shape, st eating healthy. Um, it's, it's, it's paramount in your life. Um, as, I, as I previously mentioned, I, you know, I come from a military background and uh, part of my family's military background. And so I always wanted to serve and that's all I ever wanted to do. So my father used to tell me by the time I was 18, they'll find a cure, which of course they, you know, they're working on it, but they haven't yet. And um, so I was real disappointed that I couldn't go to the military because of being a diabetic. And an insulin dependent diabetic I take shots every day you know being a diabetic is is hard it's not as hard as more of the ignorance you have to go through and the prejudice and, and you wouldn't think so you, you really wouldn't because you know I mean you you hear somebody diabetic they're diabetic no big deal but when you come into the workforce and you just as something as simple as having a bottle of orange juice with you people kind of look like well why is he drinking he's working you know I mean it's not like it's alcohol it's just kind of one of those things and, it, and it's, it has to do with ignorance and the unknown. And so, you know, that's played a role in my life. You just learn to deal with it. I was a police officer uh, with the Albuquerque Police Department. Uh, I went through uh, at the age of 20. I graduated right after I turned 21. When I was attempting to become a police officer without, uh, with many departments, uh, they didn't. They weren't going to allow me because they thought being a diabetic and independent, I couldn't maintain the the responsibilities. I'd be out late. I'd be doing all kinds of things. So they were real ignorant to the disease. Which uh, there was a lot of prejudice. I, I found out due to the fact, you know, they, they said, "Oh, well, you're not going to be strong enough. You're not going to be be able to go through the training, the physical training, and, and you know." And I, I pleaded with them for a long time to prove them otherwise. You know, you can kick me out of the academy if I don't cut any of the training or, or anything else. And so ultimately I did. I got an opportunity working for the government. Uh, uh, my father's actually a retired chief federal agent. That opened my eyes to certain things he was doing. Uh, I wanted to follow in his footsteps. So ultimately I went to work for the government. I did uh, dignitary protection, served overseas uh, for knowledge and experience. It was definitely worth its weight in gold. As stunt performers, we need to be strong, we need to be agile, uh, we need to be able to do things that most normal people can't. Here, oh, and you're gonna throw it down. It, staying in shape is absolutely paramount. I mean, you know, you could do be doing anything from fight scenes to falling out of a window. First gig was Transformers. I got into that because of my military and law enforcement background. They needed guys who had uh, weapons training and so on and so forth. I got into Swing Boat, Felon, The Keeper. Uh, that was with Steven Seagal. Bodyguard worked for Sarah Jessica Parker for, have you heard about the Morgans? Stunt fighting and, and money is king. You know, having a great headshot is, I think, kind of what makes or breaks you as an actor. I always like to kind of 
kind of get people out of their element, you know. Uh, he's a big guy, so, you know, he's probably more likely going to play those roles, but, you know, here today it was, you know, all right, I want you to be like the super friendly next door neighbor, you know, I want to get these like kind of roles that he doesn't expect that he can get, just to sort of like break him out of the shell and sort of the mold. Extremely disciplined, meticulous, and hardworking. That has to come from within. Having the fortitude of a Marine and the discipline of a sniper is worth its weight in gold. You can't get any better than that.